Welcome back to Cardinal Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Ethan Jennings, and here's what happened in SVSU Athletics this week. The Cardinal football team moved to 7-2 on the year after a big win over GLIAC foe Davenport. SVSU led 17-0 at the half after touchdowns from Terrence Brown and Brady Devereaux. Rodrigo Castaneda also knocked through a field goal for the Cardinals in the first half. Micah Kretzinger and DJ Volts recorded interceptions for SVSU in the first half. Kretzinger also led the Cardinals in tackles with eight, with Brandon Rawls, Jasper Beeler, and Eli Gordon following closely behind with six. Quarterback Mason McKenzie capped off a solid day for SVSU with a 32-yard touchdown run with four minutes remaining in the game. Here's what head coach Ryan Brady had to say after the 24-14 win over the Panthers. Yeah, you know, we, we didn't quite, you know, meet our standard, our expectation, but we were, we're closer. Um, we're continuing to get better. Just overall, I just thought, you know, our guys from start to finish, you know, had control of this game and um, did, did a good job of, uh, you know, maintaining the lead and did a good job in the second half of, uh, you know, handling adversity well. SVSU is back on the road this week for a matchup with second-ranked Ferris State. SVSU men's soccer claimed a share of the GLIAC regular season title over the weekend. The Cardinals added a seventh game to their winning streak when they beat Davenport 1-0 on the road. Alex Demereau scored in the 72nd minute, assisted by Johnny Money. They then traveled to Chicago to take on Roosevelt. The Lakers took the regular season finale from SVSU 1-0, which gave both teams a share of the GLIAC regular season title. Roosevelt will host the GLIAC soccer tournament starting on November 10th. SVSU earned a bye as the second seed and will face the winner of St. Cloud State and Purdue Northwest in the semifinals on November 15th. SVSU women's soccer had a fantastic weekend winning both of their games. An offensive onslaught in the second half on Friday against Ferris State gave the Cardinals a 4-1 victory. Maddie Bages, Sophia Zalucki, Stephanie Strong, and Riley Garbars were the goal scorers for SVSU with Emma Bradley recording the only assist. The Cardinals traveled to Indiana on Sunday for a game against Purdue Northwest. They won 1-0 after Grace Miller scored about 15 minutes into the second half, assisted by Peyton Kennedy. SVSU concludes the regular season this weekend with games against the UP teams at home. They play Michigan Tech on Thursday at 3 and Northern Michigan Saturday at noon. SVSU Volleyball recorded back-to-back -back sweeps this weekend with wins over Lake Superior State and Roosevelt. On Halloween, the Cardinals dominated LSSU 25-16, 25-15, and 25-16. Sarah Veal led the Cardinals with 13 kills in the match. Then Saginaw Valley took on Roosevelt where they won in straight sets all by a score of 25-23. Veal once again led SVSU with 16 kills. The Cardinals are on the road this week with matches against 12th ranked Grand Valley State and Wayne State. The SVSU cross country teams will be competing in the NCAA Midwest Regional Championship on Saturday, November 9th. The regional will be hosted by Lewis University and Romeoville, Illinois. SVSU men's and women's basketball open up their seasons this week. The men tip off on Friday against Hillsdale at 3. Their first home game is also against the Chargers on Sunday at 3 inside O'Neill Arena. The women's team starts their season with games on back-to-back -back days, both on the road against Northwood on Friday at 4 and Findlay on Saturday at 5. The athletes of the week for SVSU were Micah Kretzinger and Sarah Veal. Veal totaled 29 kills and 22 digs to lead SVSU Volleyball in their two sweeps this weekend. Kretzinger had himself a day for the Cardinal football team against Davenport on Saturday. He had a team-high eight tackles, three tackles for loss, including a sack fumble and an interception. Thank you for tuning in to Cardinal Sports Weekly. I'm Ethan Jennings, and we'll see you next week. Go Cardinals and Beaks up.